Hi there guys, it's Chris here with SelfMadeNewbie.com and in this video we're going to go through the best blue light blocking glasses currently out there today. Now I've kept this list as comprehensive as possible, narrowing it down to my absolute favorite top five picks. So no matter what you're looking for, there'll definitely be something on this list for you. So before we jump in, drop a like and subscribe and hit the bell to be updated with new videos. All right, as usual, I'm gonna skip all the fluff and just jump right into my recommendations. If you wanna confirm what they are, you can go down in the description there and check out that list to also ensure or guarantee that you get the lowest price. All right, so kicking it off with my personal favorite, and that's taking into consideration um, pricing, versatility, all that, and these are the Benici Stylish Blue Light Blocking Glasses. So if you're looking for a pair of untinted, go with you everywhere, no adjustment needed glasses, the Benici Blue Light Blocking Glasses uh, are my favorite, just thanks to how durable, comfortable, and effective they are. Uh, these glasses score high in fit, feel, and clarity, coming across as a lightweight, well-fitting, and just well-made pair that you could hang out on your work desk as easily as they can be tossed in a bag for travel. <clears throat> <clears throat> One thing helping these glasses fit so comfortably is their lightly textured material which helps prevent slipping without pinching the nose or ears or causing any sore spots. They do run a little small and are probably better suited to women than men but they come in a variety of colors and even include a blue light refraction tool that allows you to check just how much blue light they're actually blocking. Lastly, there is almost no difference in vision when wearing these glasses. There's no tint to adjust your eyes to and the lenses are crystal clear. These glasses are really everything you would want in a pair of blue light blockers and also with an affordable price point. So a really great introduction, especially. So in a nutshell, the pros, they stay in place well, they're lightweight, they're durable, and the cons, like I hit on there, unlikely to fit on larger faces. The next one on my list is my recommendation for the best fitting, and these are the Readerist Blue Light Blocking Reading Glasses. So these are snug and secure, but lightweight and still comfortable, um, and are really the best fitting pair. You're gonna like how these are gonna feel even after many hours of wear. You're gonna have literally zero complaints about the fit or feel of these. They're comfortable to have on your face for extended periods of time when working on laptops, smartphones. The lenses are clear, and you'll definitely notice less eye strain than if you're working without them. So these are just a solid option. They fit well, comfortable, improve eye strain, and on top of all that, they're pretty stylish in my opinion, so they're gonna look good on video calls, meetings, uh, but they're also functional enough uh, to work for long sessions on focus work. So in a nutshell, these are gonna relieve eye strain. They're versatile for many uses because of how they work, the comfort, and also how they look. Uh, but the cons are there is limited variety as far as the colors and styles go. So my next one is gonna be my recommendation for online meetings or streaming. And these are the Felix Grey Jemison Blue Light Glasses. So if you're constantly attending video meetings while wearing glasses, you've probably noticed some lenses cast a very noticeable and distracting reflection on your screen. Uh, and this experience was something uh, that you're gonna be happy to miss with these ones. Uh, and these are how they became my top pick for anything to do with uh, you appearing on camera, meetings, streaming, or whatnot. In addition to minimizing that annoying glare during video calls, the Felix Grey pair are also comfortable to wear throughout several uh, sessions of just eight hour work days uh, and you won't really need to adjust them. There was no slipping or pinching either and as for clarity, the untinted lenses are crisp and clear, though there is a more subtle rather than dramatic improvement in eye strain symptoms than with maybe the last pick. In other words, they may help to reduce eye fatigue and headaches, or they might not. There's no real guarantee there. Uh, overall though, if you need a pair of glasses that don't cause a distracting, glary reflection during video calls or streaming, uh, these are a great option. So in a nutshell, the pros, very clear tint, no noticeable glare, and also includes a nice case and dust cloth. The cons are, these are a little bit on the expensive side. The next one on my list is my recommendation for the best transition lens, and these are the iBuy Direct Escape blue light glasses. 
So what the Eye by Direct glasses lack in overall fit, they more than make up for in feel and clarity, something that's key when choosing transition lenses. You're gonna appreciate how clear the lenses are and how smoothly they're able to make the transition between different fields of vision with these. In fact, these glasses have been tested in a variety of scenarios outside, looking down at phones and laptops, and at different times of the day. They will perform at or probably above your expectations in all cases, never interfering with your vision and noticeably improving eye strain symptoms. They're made of high quality materials and don't cause any pain or sore spots, even when using them for a few hours. The only place where they could perform a bit better maybe is with the fit, like I started off saying. They would probably be better for smaller rather than larger faces. And you'll notice that the arms are a little bit short to prevent slippage and that's why I'm gonna give that recommendation. So the pros in a nutshell, very good clarity, good for small to medium faces, and they're also very affordable as well. The cons are they may slide down the nose if you don't adjust them properly. And the final one on my list is gonna be my recommendation for the best gaming option, and these are the Gunner Razer FPS. So for anyone who games regularly, reducing harsh light and glare is key to making those long hours focusing on a screen more comfortable. I like that the Gunner Optics Razer glasses do exactly that, making them my favorite pick for gaming for sure. With a subtle yellow tint, these glasses go the extra mile in blocking blue light. And while I thought they were maybe not the most stylish option, the fact that you'll most likely be wearing them alone at home means style can really take a back seat. These glasses are also comfortable with a lightweight and wide frame fit that didn't dig into the sides of the head during testing. You'll also note a slight distortion around the edge of the lenses, but this is only noticeable when you're not looking at the screen. Overall, these are probably not the best glasses for work or socializing, but I still think they are a solid choice for anyone who spends hours laser focused on a screen and needs real glare protection and brightness reduction uh, when you are you know, doing long sessions of gaming or whatnot. So the pros in a nutshell, dims brightness and glare very, very well. These are also very affordable. Uh, the cons, they're not that stylish and also a slight distortion around the edge of the lenses when you are not focusing on the screen. All right guys, so hopefully there's something on that list for you. If you do want something for gaming, something comfortable, something for glare, something for headaches, hopefully there's something there for you. If you do have any questions though, drop them down below and if you found value in this video, you can drop a like and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.